Hello friends, I am so excited to join you today on the Cozy Chair channel. And I get to sit in the actual cozy chair. It's very comfortable. Today is especially great for me because normally I'm on your side of the screen listening to these great stories. But today I get to read my own story. This is a book I just wrote and published called Stop Dad, Come No Further. Written by Adam Ashton, that's me, illustrated by Scott T. Peterson. And because I wrote it, I get to put in some of the extras like I do when I'm reading my stories to my kids. I love reading stories to my kids and I'm glad you're joining me today so I get to read the story to you the same way I do in my own home. Let's get started. Stop Dad, Come No Further. Written by Adam Ashton, illustrated by Scott T. Peterson, dedicated to my son, Andrew. Somebody's coming in. Somebody's playing. Have you ever made a fort in your room? Son, have you brushed your teeth and said your prayers? Are you all set for bed? Remember, there will be no story tonight if you haven't. <gasps> What's he looking at? Do you think he's all ready? I don't know. Stop, Dad. Come no further. Why? What's wrong? Oh, Dad, can't you see you're surrounded? The harumphs are closing in. Giant hairy spiders, Dad, with big poisonous teeth all around you. I see them. What should I do? Do you see them? Do you see those scary spiders all around him? Will I make it if I run? Bad idea, Dad. They're fast. Here, catch my torch. They hate fire. When they get close, wave the flames in their ugly, beady eyes. Let's see how they like that. Son, it worked. Look at them scurry away. Mommy. Oh, get away from the fire. Son, did you remember to? Not now, Dad. Not another word. What is it, son? What do you think it is? What do you see behind them? I wonder where they're going next. You're captured and hogtied by a swarthy band of villainous scar-faced pirates. Swords at your back, Dad. They'll cut you down sure thing if you chatter too much. Is this the end then? Whoop. Should I say my last goodbyes? Not yet, Dad. Listen close. See the one with the gold tooth? It's rotten inside and hurts him something fierce. Tell him you'll pull it out and ease the pain. Pop! What's he going to do with that golden tooth? Toss it behind you on the deck. They'll grub for it in a mad heap, the greedy dogs. Then make a break for it. Hey, gold! I see it. It's going to be mine. It came from me own mouth. Don't put your dirty fingers on it. You're right, son. Look at them fight each other. Uh, uh, hey, my No, it's mine. Give it back. So... About your teeth, freeze, Dad. Don't move. Don't even breathe. Not more trouble. Afraid so. Know why you can't move? It's because you're knee-deep in quicksand. And no use trying to struggle, neither. You'll sink down past your chin quick as a wink if you do. How's he going to get out of this one? What would you do if you were stuck in quicksand and any movement you made made you go lower? <gasps> Besides that, 
Over yonder you can see the hag has sent her horde with spears and swords to do us in. Son, yeah, Dad, it's been a pleasure being your father. Don't give up yet, Dad. There's still a little time. What's he doing with his blanket? Here, grab the other end of my rope and relax your legs. I'll pull you to safety. Come on, men, we're getting closer. Now turn and make your ugliest face at her. Can you guys make ugly faces? This is the ugly face I would make. What ugly face would you make? I hope you're making some good ugly ones. Call her a flabby face warty witch. It drives her batty. Flabby face warty witch. And charge! She'll sound the charge in a thoughtless rage, and her whole army will sink themselves in the quagmire. Hey, I can't move. And get us out of here. Get those boy that dead. She's going to be really mad. Son, it worked. They're going down. Now, about my question earlier. Gasp, Dad. Gasp. Stop, Dad. Come no further. Uh-oh. What is it? I can't quite make it out through these shadows. It's all been a trap, Dad. And I'm the bait. The Ogre King wants us both cooked for supper. But you get away, Dad. Leave me and go. Do you think Dad's gonna go? No way. Never. There must be some way to foil this smelly brute. Look at that smelly brute. He's huge. A story, Dad. Tell him a story. It will put him right to sleep. Uh, I'm just cooking my soup. My father and son soup. Story? Did somebody say story? I want to hear a story. will slip away as he snores. A story? Yeah, Dad, a story will do the trick. Okay, a story. Son? Yeah, Dad. I love you, son. I love you too, Dad. Look at that ogre king. What's he doing with that toothpick? Uh, what's this stuff? I think I'm going to take it. Oh, it's too hot, it's too hot. Ah, get off my tongue. He pulled my tooth right out of my mouth and threw it on the deck of the ship. Look at all these fun characters. They're coming in to listen to the story. Um, excuse me. Shh, I'm trying to listen to the story. I hope you liked Stop Dad, Come No Further. Thank you for spending time with me today on The Cozy Chair. If you like this book, you can buy it on Amazon, and I hope you will, because nothing makes me happier than knowing that this story is making people happy and making people smile all around the world. Until next time, see you later.